Hey guys, Chris Hollis here at IFA. I'm in the beautiful Dell booth today, checking out some of the great new products from our friends at Dell. I'm here with James. James, how are you doing so far? I'm good, thanks, Chris. Awesome, awesome. You guys have a great space here. There's Thank a you. whole lot to focus on, but we're gonna try and drill down into a few specific products. None better to start with than the XPS 13 that we've got right here. Certainly. So this is our most uh, awarded product. So it's been huge success for us, and we've updated it with the latest 8th gen Intel technology. What we've also done though is working with Intel, we have a dynamic power mode on here, so we have additional thermal sensors in the system that just allows us to accurately measure the thermal performance and then when the user demands it, we're able to actually overclock the processor to get that extra performance out there. So we're seeing a 44% increase in performance over 7th gen uh, in the previous version of the product. The, the, the footprint itself though, when I look at it, right, it, you say it's a 13.3 inch, right, and it, it's, just, I mean, it just, the feel of it, it doesn't look like 13.3 inches. Like, what have you guys been able to do here to really optimize? So the main thing is the, uh, the Infinity Edge display that we have. So we've got a Quad HD um, display in there, but with the very narrow bezels, around there, we've been able to basically fit a 13.3 inch display into what would be a typical footprint on an 11 inch device for other products on there. That's beautiful, that's beautiful. And there's obviously various options with the touch and non-touch screen and so on. Well, that's and it. I mean, the touch stuff for us, obviously, great. We've got Windows Hello on board from, from the, the Windows perspective. Uh, biometrics on board as well? Yes, yeah, so it's optional, not on this model, on the one next to it. We have the fingerprint reader integrated into the palm rest, so we're able to support with Hello. Awesome, that's great. I guess we'll take a little walk around here and head over to, I think we're gonna to head to the Inspron stuff, so perhaps we just kind of take a walk and if there's anything specific yeah. that you guys are, you wanna call out here. I so mean. on here we have also the, the 15 inch variant on the, uh, on the XPS as well, again with the narrow bezel, so on the Affinity Edge display, again, smallest 15 inch that's uh, available on there. So. It's unbelievable, it, it, it's hard to tell from the video, but when you guys are actually here and you see it, right? you're saying these are 15 inch, and I think yeah. you're used to very big footprints on these devices. It's amazing to see what you guys have been able to do up in the XPS line here. No, I mean, thin and light, obviously that's what people are wanting in a, in a portable mobile device. And uh, you know, we've been very successful with that in the, in the XPS line. We're now starting to see some of that uh, as we come through into the, in the Interbron line. We've got here a selection of our 7000 series that we've been updating as well with 8th gen core technology. Uh, starting, we've got a 17 inch two in one. Uh, great if you're you know, moved away from a desktop, that's your only system. You've got the advantage of working in a you know, clamshell mode, um, but then to be able to flip into tent mode if you want to watch films or Skype with the family and so on. So it's great. great there. Um, we've then got updates to the rest of the uh, the 7000 series. So I'm going to hand over to Ryan, who's just going to take you through a little bit more awesome. detail on some of those. Ryan, good morning. Good morning, how are you? I'm good. I'm good. So we're here, we're looking now at the Inspiron series. What do we got in front of us here, Ryan? What we have right here is the Inspiron 137. 1000 series laptop. Uh, we have completely re changed up the design to be smaller than what we had in our last year. We are thinner and lighter. Uh, we have narrow bezels on the sides. Uh, we've taken some feedback from our customers about the placement of the webcam and we did have a little bit of a thicker bezel on the top to make sure that we kept the webcam in a traditional location that our customers are used to. On this device, you are able to upgrade to the um, to the infrared camera for Windows Hello. However, we also have the option for the fingerprint reader here in the power button. Very thin, very light. We managed to keep the main ports on all of these products. Uh, many people are very pleased to see full-size SD cards, USB on that side, USB on this side, along with a full HDMI, and of course a USB Type-C that supports power delivery and DisplayPort. Have you had an opportunity to handle one of these? Before? I have not, actually. It's, it's, it's incredibly, it's light and it's sturdy, and I think that's what I really like about it. The finishes are amazing. It, it's a beautiful product, a really beautiful product. And it just grabs the eye. I noticed when we first walked in this morning, it was one of the first things that we saw. Beautiful devices. Ryan, thanks for taking us through the Inspiron. That's awesome. Lots to see in here, but I think one of the biggest ones that everybody's talking about, still mixed reality, virtual reality. And I see you guys have the new Dell visor over here. So when we, we do. I'd well, love we to go over and take a look at it. I don't know that I'm going to wear it because, you know, we, okay. you got to keep it, got to keep it professional here. -ish. Okay. But, but I would love for you to tell me a little bit more about what we've got going on with the Dell visor right here. Yeah. So, so what we've done, uh, yeah, it's the mixed reality. We conform to the ultra spec, so that the higher level of the spec. What we've done with the visor though is we've put a lot of effort and work into the uh, comfort uh, and the feel uh, of the visor. So you can see on here, um, we've got the, the foam pads. This is high quality foam, so you're not gonna get uh, too sweaty. It'll, it'll not deteriorate uh, over time. We've also got a very easable, easily adjusted uh, the headband with a, uh, a thumb wheel here. Um, 
And basically with that, that means that when you have the headset on, um, it's weighted and, and is secure on the back and it takes a lot of the weight off the bridge of the nose, so it's not going to uh, impact you in that way. Also very easy to switch from mixed reality back to the real world, so we have the flip up uh, on the visors, you can take that other way. The other thing that we've done with the with the uh, the headset is there's enough space here that you can actually, if you wear glasses, you don't have to take your normal glasses off. They will fit underneath on the visor. We've also taken account in terms of cable management. Um, so we've got single cable coming out uh, to connect to the system, and that roots and actually falls goes down behind your back. So the cable's not in the way, going to trip you up when you're moving around. In terms of uh, headphones, very personal choice on headphones. Sure. So rather than building in what we've done. Simple adapter, you can plug in your own headphones. We've designed the headband in a way that you've got space uh, around, so it's thin at the sides. Depends on the headset, may go inside, may go outside, but it makes it easy to make your own choice. Um, so really trying to look at the usability um, and, you know, as I say, the look and feel on here. The other thing, obviously, uh, mixed reality headset, we're using the uh, uh, inside out um, detector, so it's very easy to set up in terms of the room. You don't need any of those satellite um, you know, detectors to detect to, to pick up how you, you're moving. So it's great use in the home, you know, uh, various spaces, uh, and easy to set up, and much easier to, to set up with a system. 100%, 100%. I, I can attest to this. I had it on a little bit earlier. It is all the usability features you talked about. It is incredibly comfortable. It's a beautiful design. I know people are going to love to get their hands on this. We've got a lot of great content that we've just talked about coming from. Uh, in the mixed reality space with Windows, and I think people are going to be really thrilled when they get their hands on this, and actually any of these products that we have here in the Dell booth. If folks want to find out more, where can they go to get a little bit more information about all of the Dell, the Dell stuff that's going on right now? So uh, all the product information and the products we talked about today will be available on uh, information on the website, so just Dell.com or your country variations, and information is all there. Awesome, James, I appreciate it. Thanks for Thank taking the time to show us around.